The devil came in. That's what she said. The devil came in. The devil came in. The devil came in. We came in! It's a blast. Everything about this job makes me so happy. I tell friends who I haven't seen in a couple of years, my cheeks hurt, man. I'm just, it is actor heaven. I'm so proud to be part of it. I'm so grateful to be part of it. It's been great. There was one in the first season, about the fourth episode, a really long monologue um, from the couch in the Oval Office. And as far as I know, the president has impregnated an aide, and we're, it's about to become news, <laughs> you know, replete with DNA evidence. And he's asking me, what's next? What are we going to do? We've got to strategize this. Shonda wrote this gorgeous, you know, Shakespeare meets Beckett meets, you know, Hunter S. Thompson kind of monologue. And I so, I was so in love with it as, as an actor. I said, Shonda, if you don't like this, I, I, I will pay the crew with salary I haven't even earned yet to get it right. We'll come back at three in the morning because I don't want to screw this writing up. It's gorgeous. You see me handle it. There's a dead closeted hillbilly on the floor, and there I am. Give me your sins, Sally. I'm at the top of my game. The devil is at the top of his game.